are back. Hey, hey, <laughs> Welcome back to Us Talk. And today we have a great show for you. I know this one from way back, maybe about maybe like maybe like maybe, maybe, maybe like ten years ago or so like that. Haven't seen her in a minute, except you know online. Okay, I'm gonna introduce who she is. She is an actress. She is a personal fitness instructor, trainer. She kind of got me right. Her name is Pamela Ricardo. <laughs> started this show, I was thinking of some people that I wanted to have on the show. We've been talking back and forth. You even got me right, 30-day fitness uh, training program. You were on it, too. I was. <laughs> I was. I need to get back on it, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> Summertime. I know. Yeah, I can throw I know. you off. Mm -hmm. I know. I got to get We this. outside now with no masks and stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right? Eating different. Right? They can actually <laughs> see who's behind the body now, yeah. so I got to get it right. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But before we get into the fitness part, I like I mentioned, I know you from acting. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that you was doing fitness until um, I saw you a few years ago at a friend, a mutual friend's birthday party. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, when did she get all the guns? And when did all this happen? What, did, what do you <laughs> Looked do? Looked a little different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what yeah. do you do? So we met through acting with another mutual friend, a director. We was doing a stage play. and. Um, so, had to talk about that a little bit. How long have you been doing it? What projects have you worked on? What are you working on currently? Just throwing it all at you. Yeah, um, <laughs> I did meet her on a stage play. Um, we traveled with it mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. Wow. And um, we immediately clicked. We actually shared a hotel room, I think, mm -hmm. didn't we? <laughs> immediately clicked. and. Um, I, I think at that point I probably had been acting for maybe three or four years. So I guess maybe now I'm at like year 13. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm chasing this dream. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's a passion. It's a passion. So it's never going to go away. You guys yeah. know how that is. Mm -hmm. And um, lately I've been working on a few projects. I've, I've had some successes since then. I've been on a few TV shows, I've been in some films. So things have been good, but you know how this industry is. You can have a year of amazing things mm -hmm. and then have six months of absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. you just kind of have to know that this is what you want to do. Otherwise, you would throw this away because mm. it's hard, you know. Mm -hmm. But along the way, you meet great people, you make great friendships, and then that kind of fulfills those gaps of unfulfillment and rejection because mm -hmm. you're making good friends and relationships. Um, I'm Right now, I just got done working on a project called Welcome to the 40s. Oh my God, you guys. I'm not 40 yet, but <laughs> that's the name of the show. But uh, <laughs> Tomorrow's my birthday, though, but I'm, not, I'm still not 40. Hey! Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. But um, yeah, so I just got done working on that with a great friend of mine named Shawanda Winston that I met through personal training. Uh, she was one of my clients. And she would always tell me about this project that she had been writing for years. And mm. every time I would train her, she was so passionate about this project. Mm. And then to see it come to life now for her, I just, I can't be no happier. I literally come to set and I'm like teared up and I'm like, look what you did, you made it happen. <laughs> like see someone make their dreams happen that yeah. you care about, it's the best feeling in the world. And I um, did that with her. We have like one more scene to shoot, but we'll be pretty much wrapped after August, and then um, I worked on Creep Show, which is a show on Shudder recently mm. with some people that I grew up watching on TV, so that was super cool. And um, a few years back, I worked on BET's The Quad for two seasons mm. with Anika Nani Rose, Jasmine Guy, my favorite, with the Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of my careers. That was one of the things that happened in my career that I was like, thank you, that was a God gift for sure, because I, I always love Jasmine Guy. She's the reason why I was an act. I'm an actress, and oh, wow. I, Whitley Gilbert was so iconic. Right? Yes, it made me want to do this. Of course. So working on that was extremely amazing, and Good job. just auditioning, <laughs> just like yourself, yeah. and we're all just trying to just see what's next, mm -hmm. and just. And then in the meantime of that happening, I fell in love with fitness because you've got to have something else you love. Like Absolutely. you have to have a passion yeah. outside of the grind. Otherwise, you'll get so lost yeah. in it. You'll just be taking any old kind of job. Mm -hmm. That was to actually going to be my next question just in how like the journey from acting to fitness mm -hmm. like what was that give us a little bit more on that i was like i want to look a certain way on camera and so i was like you know i, I didn't know that i was i didn't know i knew so much already I grew up watching my mom do aerobics in the living room. Mm. You know, my mom was a stay-at-home mom, so she 
would get up in the morning, eat breakfast, and she would put on a, a tape, a, her VHS, her Denise Austin, and her like Glad back in the day, right? And I'd watch my mama work out every morning, and then I would join her, you know? And then I didn't realize that I was obsessed with working out, even when I was a kid. And when I got a little older, um, I went through a, a bout of depression, mm -hmm. and the gym saved me. I would go to the gym, and that would be like my time for me throughout the day that I could just do Pam. And then my brother hit me up one day, he's a bodybuilder, and he was like, sis, you should do a competition already. And I was like, you think I could do one? Mm. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna get you right. I was like, bet. So he like emailed me like workouts, and I was like, I'm gonna get on this. Other yeah. people motivating you to get those goals. Yeah, <laughs> and in the midst of that, I would have people coming up to me in the gym, like they would see me transform, because I was a little teeny, and then, you know, they was like, I'm seeing little muscles coming off. So people were seeing me progress over time, and they nice. were like asking me if I would train them, and I was like, I ain't no trainer. Finally, one lady just kept asking me, mm -hmm. and I was like, all right, fine. Yeah. And so she was the beginning of my, my new career, and so wow. I, it went from there. So you just never know, man. What You're there now. You just never know. You just never know what stuff's going to lead to. So that's my fitness story. So speaking of fitness, what would you say your preferred style of fitness is? Like, I mean, I'm sure that's important because your body looks great. So I'm trying Thank to be you. like you, sis. So what, uh, <laughs> what is that so I can know? I've been eating and I'm enjoying life right now. But um, <laughs> my favorite style, honestly, with my clients, we do a little bit of everything. We start off with a nice warm up and then we typically will do some kind of strength training, lightweight, sometimes we do heavy weights. So for me, I'm a little bit of everything. I like aerobics to get the heart rate up. I like using weights to burn that fat mm -hmm. and to trim you up and sculpt you. Mm -hmm. So for me, I look at people's bodies. Like if you stood in front of me, I'd be like, yes, 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 I'm gonna do this, da, da, da. Mm. It's like how like hairstylists start. They look at you and they're like, I'm gonna do your hair. I'm like, like I wanna that. stand up now. I know, right? be like, eh, eh, yeah. eh, eh. And that is like my favorite part of the journey. It's like, I will look at you and see what I wanna do to you. And then I like look one day and I'm like, look at this, we did that. Mm. It was in my head and now that's you. And like, that's what brings me joy in it. It's like pushing you to what I saw because you may not even know you could have all that. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I, I, I don't know, it just comes to me. I'm like, am I gonna do this today? Or gonna... That's how you know it's a God gift though, because I can't yeah, explain it. Because you're it just professional, comes like you know it is yeah. there. You can see it. I see yeah. it immediately. You know, I'm makeup like, artists just know, people just know. It's like art. Yes, yeah, definitely. That's my other art. She did say sculpt. Yeah, I like to yes. sculpt. Yes. 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 That's what I want to do. Sculpt them up and just like I like seeing people be their best version of themselves. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's not meant to be skinny. Everybody's not meant to have a bunch of muscles. So mm -hmm. I like to look at you, see what your goals are, and, and who do you maybe admire, and then I go from there with it. So mm -hmm. I don't have a particular style, but we're gonna be using some weights at some point. Okay. Now, I do use weights, but not every session. There are we're gonna use style. weights today. No, we're gonna do a complete no weights workout like my app. My app, you can use okay. weights, but you don't have to. So I'm, we're gonna do a workout like that today. Okay, well, so then with that, all of the fitness and all the goals that comes to you naturally, what would you say is like your worst moment? Maybe some challenges that you might have faced even through the transition? With fitness? Yes. Well, I mean, there's a lot of pressure when you're a trainer to be perfect, you know? Mm. And I like don't want to be perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I honestly went through a phase after the competition that I did where I was at my best weight. I was the leanest I had ever been in my life. Mm. I had never seen my abs like that ever. And then like the next day, that don't look the same because now I'm drinking water again because you do a lot of depletion before you get on stage. Right. So the very next day, you're back eating normal. You're back having more sodium. You're back eating like a normal human being. Mm. And you can get body dysmorphia. You can start mm. thinking to yourself, wait a minute, I've, I've gained all this weight when you look really normal really healthy mm. and so that's why I always when I coach people who want to do competitions I make sure their mental is good because it's it could be detrimental after a show to see yourself put on some more weight uh -huh. yeah. you know so I think maybe for me the hardest part was just kind of being okay with putting back on healthy weight mm -hmm. and as I'm changing as a woman even I'm learning that I have to be okay with my body changing Absolutely. you know and I'm I like to eat and, yeah you know mm -hmm. if it's something I specific don't we like to eat, yeah. like, to eat? Yeah. like oh I love to well, eat I mean, hey, um, you can tell but you're beautiful like and I love that you you are embracing your curves <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. and so everybody has their shape for them like yeah. I, I have clients that are Thick, but everything is tight looking and they looking good. Yeah. Everybody's not meant to be a two. Absolutely. And once I became okay with that for myself, I started feeling way, Better. way more beautiful. Mm -hmm. I started embracing my size, and I didn't, I didn't stress so much about it. Nice. I'm gonna eat that cake, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also gonna go to the gym tomorrow. You know, right. but I'm not gonna oh, eat the cake you. every day. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it today. Right. <laughs> so speaking of going to the gym and eating, 
What would you say would be a great way to incorporate like daily uh, exercise routines um, for different, I'll say for me, right? I have my own business um, and I do a lot. And it's hard for me to um, find somewhere that some time to exercise. So what would you say for a person like me mm -hmm. that wants to be fit, um, how would I incorporate that? Like what would be the things that I eat? What would be the best exercises to do um, in a time uh, efficient, efficient manner. Right, so for someone like yourself that's busy, mm -hmm. I would say you gotta make it the priority. Even if that means at the end of the night you lay out your fitness outfit, right? Even mm -hmm. if you're gonna go work out in your living room, make yourself feel pretty. Mm -hmm. Find a matching bra and a little, little set, you know, make yourself feel sexy. And get in front of a television or get your app out. I have an app, my clients use my app, and like, you got to do something that's quick and easy for you because you got a long day ahead of you. Absolutely. So you got to choose whether or not I'm going to be a morning workout person or if I'm going to be a night. And you got to mm -hmm. say that's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Point blank period. Set the alarm. So what about the time? Like how much time should a person dedicate daily um, in order for them to see the results that they want to see? you know, for a busy person or just daily, period. You need 15 to 20 minutes a day of some kind of activity that's, you know. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Wow. Popping up and down, Not 15 to 20 minutes. I always minutes. thought I needed that's to be doing like an hour. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> after an hour, you probably haven't eaten, your body's depleted, so you're, now you're running on fumes, fumes and yeah. you're breaking down your muscles, so and you're being like counterproductive. Thing right. On your body. So you want to make sure you're doing the correct exercises in the correct order. And that's why I always tell people when you're doing something with fitness, you can choose somebody on Instagram every single day, but you don't have any structure because mm -hmm. they're doing their own schedule and they're doing their own schedule. So what, what are you doing? You know, right, right. you got to get with a routine that makes sense for you. Absolutely. So we do splits. I do splits. And so Monday is uh, legs mm -hmm. and abs if I got okay. energy after legs. <laughs> and then Tuesday is shoulders, chest and triceps. Mm -hmm. You got to mm -hmm. split these muscles up so that they have sufficient time gotcha. to get rest because yeah. they can't grow if you're always working them. Mm -hmm. A lot of girls go to the gym and they're working their legs every day and I'm like, oh my God. And wonder why they can't lose got no weight butt. or no yeah. <laughs> it makes They're not losing no weight. Their legs are tired. They're not using the muscles properly. So I always say, give yourself a split. Say, okay, I'm going to work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week. Yeah. So Monday's legs. Wednesday's all abs and cardio. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll jog on the treadmill on an incline. And mm -hmm. then Friday you'll do upper body. Mm -hmm. And that means anything upper body. I'm going to do bicep curls, some shoulder presses, some side raises, some front raises. That's what I'm doing on Fridays. Mm -hmm. But it, it doesn't have to be a long ordeal. 15, 20 minutes is totally sufficient. Because you got to be focused when you work out. If you're not, it takes an hour because we're checking our phones. Yeah. We're on Instagram. We texting our man back. Like, <laughs> Just be focused for that 15 minutes and get it over with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then go about your day and drink your water. Okay. And as soon as you start seeing results, you're gonna be addicted. Uh, nice. But it takes at least, you know, a couple of weeks. It takes a couple of weeks for you to feel yeah. you know, it's something that's changing. Yeah. It's not happening today. Yeah. Right. You know, but yeah, I think consistency, if you choose any diet, you choose any workout program and you stick with it, consistency is the thing. Is the key. You can't do it this week and then not this week. Mm -hmm. I'm so big on that. Like when people take a week off from me, I'm like, Mm -hmm. We're about to start failing because yeah. you're you're not. It's gonna be hard for you to get right back. You're mm -hmm. gonna keep making excuses. Right. So just right. stay on it. It's keto. Stay on it. If it's not whatever you're doing, stay. Yes, I think I got addicted to keto. That's fine. Yeah. If, you, if it works for you, girl, go yeah. right on ahead. It didn't work for me. A lot of people got addicted to keto. Yeah. What's up people with that? love it. They like <laughs> bacon. Yeah, no bacon. They might be what it is. Do you help so. with nutrition? I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I was about to ask the same thing. Yeah. 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 Like, I can work out all day, but help me with my the food. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm the thing, too. I'm you just going to eat. eat. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. People will work out and they do a great job with it because mm -hmm. they got all that extra food in their stomach. They got a lot of fuel to work out, mm -hmm. but then they go home and they just eat the wrong things, mm -hmm. you know. So that that's how we set ourselves back. Backwards, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Well, speaking of working out, <laughs> I'm sure you heard her earlier say we're gonna do something today. So we have a surprise for you guys. We're gonna be working out, so we need something to work out in, right? Yeah. Yes. Today we have. Janique and Amber with Glow Fit. Oh, the quality! I feel the that. Oh, look at the color! Yes. Oh, that's yes. so cute. 
I'm excited. I'm too excited, actually. Love it. Oh, this is a good stretch, too. Ooh. Can I? Ooh. I think you can do squats. Can you squat this? Can you see this? Okay, so can I wear the whole thing? I just want to wear the whole thing. I want to wear other jacket. I want to wear everything. So we going to fix this. What do we have here? I mean, oh, no, I just saw the one. No. Oh, I'm going to wait. Wait. choosing fabrics and designs and things that accommodate everyone of different sizes and we try to pick our fabrics carefully and our designs as well. Wow. Nice. The quality is amazing. Quality. And it got yeah. pockets. Yeah. And Janine can tell y'all a little bit more too about the fabrics and different things that we use to make them more breathable and comfortable. Okay, Johnny, let's breathable. hear it. So we use a, a spandex and nylon blend of every piece that we, we print on. Um, it's more breathable, more comfortable more durable, it's form-fitting, and it complements your body. Because we're all different shapes and sizes, as you can see. Amber's a little bit more fit than me, but it, you know, it still fit right. So, so and where can we find you at? Um, our Instagram is at glowfit, G-L-E-A-U-X-F-I-T, on Instagram. And both of our individual Instagrams are on there. So. Yes. Nice. Look us up. I love it. Out. Thank you so yep. much, you guys. We're about to change into these now so we can come back with Pam and get to working. And get to working. And get to working. <laughs> You want to be an actor but don't have any training you can't take any classes or go to school because you have a life and you don't have the time well if this sounds like you then you need to join acting for beginners academy where you are in control of your energy your time and your acting education acting for beginners is an online self-paced academy where you will receive reliable information from me danny Guevarez, with over 13 years experience We'll discuss breaking into the industry, developing a healthy mindset and confidence, which we all can use, and we'll also pursue acting the right way. So head over to www.actingforbeginners.academy where you will be in control of your acting education, your confidence, your acting career, or hobby. See you there. Bye. All right, ladies, so I know everyone goes to the gym and always like, how do I grow my booty? Yes. But there's so many parts to the booty. There's a side booty that makes you have the hourglass, and then there's a gluteus medius and maximus that all has to be worked in order for us to have a nice, firm, total round booty. So let's start working on our side booty, okay, guys? Oh, thank you, sisters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, sisters. <laughs> all right, so glow fit. <laughs> working on our glow fit, which feels amazing. Yes. We're gonna start off with some side lunges. So you're gonna lean into the side that you're moving to. Ooh. Feel it right here on that <laughs> outer glute. Pop. Hit that here, you're gonna come right back to the middle. Good, now we're gonna switch sides. Make sure you sit into it. Good, press off your heel, come back. Let's speed it up a little bit. So we're here and back here and back make sure you're sitting into it yeah here they know I don't and back <laughs> try to point your toes they know point I don't your toes. try to point your toes a little bit more forward okay. don't let it turn out too far okay. focus on the outer glute and that inner thigh area let's get it guys 20 more seconds okay. 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 yeah this is <laughs> yeah and make sure you're pushing the hips back oh, okay man. guys 10 9 8 7 Six, five, four, 
three, two, and last one. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Right 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 Not only did I feel worked out, but that glow, that glow fit. Yeah. It feels good. It feels it's it's stretching. I yeah. feel like yeah. I can workout. sweat, and it's not like it's, exactly. it's evidence. No. It's holding, yes. it's holding yes. it all together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. All right, ladies. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to step to the side slightly for a curtsy lunge. This also will hit the outer glutes as well. So right uh -huh. here. Then we're gonna step right back up and then we're gonna hit the other side. Okay. Step down, bend your knee, come right back up, good. Let's focus on our breath, get our mind off of our knees. And bounce. Inhale. I know. Push off your heel. <laughs> it's a little awkward. Exhale. Okay. Inhale. Push off that heel, exhale, come back up. Make sure you're engaging your core so that your lower back won't get tight. Lean forward a little bit into it. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale up. Let's go, speed it up for 15. 14, Ooh. 13, oh, 12, 11, come on, 10, oh, 9, it. 8, <laughs> 7, 6, come on, 5, Five 4, come on, 3, 2, and give me one more, guys, one more, yeah. one more, yeah. and go, yeah. yeah. right into a squat hold, don't stop, don't stop, see you, <laughs> a squat hold, yes, okay. put all your weight on your Ooh. heels, Lord. come on, Ah. Lift that chest up. 15, Woo. 14, oh, 13, 12, oh, 11, come on. 10, 10 make it look 9, sexy. 8, <laughs> 7, right, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and come on up, squeeze. Woo. Back down, let's go. Ah. Keep it going, squeeze okay. it out. Let's go. Up and down, let's go. Oh, up right. and down, come on, squeeze. Back down. I want you to push your hips back, 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 like you're going to rip your pants in half. Rip those pants. I don't want to rip these up. Don't rip no, these. No, these aren't going to rip. Don't rip these. They're not going to rip. Don't fit, not rip. Don't fit, ain't ripping. It's no. no. That's exactly. Here we go. I'll be on the camera let's now. go, guys. Talk about me. Speed it up. Hey, do what you're doing over there. Come on. 10. Let's go. Speed it up. 9. I'm telling you, that's a workout. 7. Come on. This Six, look easy. It's not. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Yes. I'm sweating. Good job. Good this job. Was good, Cam. This was good. This was good. It was nice having you. Um, <laughs> you, don't have to kick me off. you don't have to come back no time soon. Uh, take your time. Take your time. Take your time when you grow back Ooh. around, okay? Yes. On these us talk streets. Exactly. Uh. We're actually breathing hard. <laughs> we are. We are. And this is a workout you can do with no equipment. Right. Uh -huh. You still feel the burn, right. you know, and we're working those glutes because everybody wants that hourglass. Mm -hmm. So it's imperative that we hit the. Side booties. Man, side lunges are great. I definitely, I need to continue on with you. How can the Must. viewers find you, continue <laughs> on this workout, finish it off for I us? I need more because obviously you didn't. Yes. yes! I want you guys to go to my website. It is www.pamelathebeauty.com slash shop. You will see all of my programs that I have for purchase now. I have an app and guess what it's called? What? The Glow Up app. Hey! Hey! I'm wearing Watch my glow, glow fitness. Watch, Watch this glow. glow. Watch this glow. <laughs> so this, this, uh, there's a theme here. Yeah. Okay? Everything glowing. Everything. We glowing? Yeah, I'm glowing. <laughs> I'm glowing. I love it. I love I'm it. I'm proud of you, ladies. Yeah. So, thank, thank you. you. So proud. Thank you so much. So proud. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us today. Once again, make sure you tune in, you subscribe, you like, follow, share. But most importantly, we want to let you know that you can also have a sponsorship spot on Us Talk, just like Glow Fit. So reach out to us. We are on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube. They you can email, email us. Email. <laughs> you know how to reach us. We got all of our information there. So thank you so much. Once again, we are. A Thank you so much, Glow Fit, y'all. We got some champagne. Glow Fit came through with gifts, y'all. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much, Glow Fit. And they also sponsored these wonderful uh, workout outfits. They fit good. They feel good. It's a very, very, very good quality material. Love it, love it, love it. It's absorbing my sweat. It's not wet, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes, I'm about to uh, bust this on open. <laughs> like right now when he hits the, the stop recording. But Period. Thank you, Glowfish. Thank yes. you so much. Johnny. And Amber, thank you.